Hi, I'm Rick with Baycom. In this video, I'll be going over the download and install of TurboNet Enterprise 3.5 as well as Microsoft SQL 2008 R2. First, we'll have to visit TurboNet.com. Next, we can click on the download section of TurboNet site. And we'll want to install the latest version or download the latest version of TurboNet. For this purpose, you can save it just to your desktop. I'm going to cancel it since I have it installed. Next, go to google.com and we can Google Microsoft SQL 2008R tool with tools. From here, we'll get the download site that we need. I don't like to register for anything, so Go ahead and just have it take me right to the download. I have the 64-bit version of Windows, so I'm going to download 64-bit. Once you have them installed, we can start with the SQL Express with Tools install. Once we have launched the SQL installer, we have three different options we can select from. If you're doing a new install, we'll go ahead and select the first option. This will bring up another window and unzip some files we need. Once that's complete, we have our terms here. We'll have to accept them in order to install. During the whole setup of this, SQL will constantly check to make sure everything is working correctly. Our next page is a feature selection. We can go ahead and leave all of them checked by default. Here you can also select the feature directory. I leave this default. Our next screen is the instance ID or instance name. For TurboNet purposes, I always use the named instance and I leave it SQL Express by default, but you can name this anything you want. The next page is Service Accounts. We can leave this default as well. Our next page is the Authentication Mode. This is where you're going to choose whether you want the Windows to authenticate or Mixed Mode Authentication. I recommend Mixed Mode Authentication. This way you can define a password. Keep in mind, you do have to meet the Windows requirements. That completes our Microsoft SQL install. Next, we'll have to install TurboNet Enterprise. This is a basic install. Our first screen, we will just hit Next. We'll have to accept the NLICER user agreement. And for the server, we're going to want to install the TurboNet Radio Server and Dispatch Console. And then to install, just hit Install. The install may take a few minutes. Once the install is completed, just click Finish. That concludes the download and install of SQL 2008 R2, as well as TurboNet Enterprise. 